collection of particulate pollutants. Particulate matter is the sum of all solid and liquid particles suspended in air, many of which are hazardous. This mixture, this complex mixture includes both organic and inorganic particles such as dust, pollen, smoke and liquid droplets that is aerosols. Today we are going to see how we are going to collect the particulate pollutants. It is uh, generally grouped into two types, types of particulate pollutants. First one, the settle out due to force of gravity and another one is suspended as aerosols that is liquid droplets. The first category consists of large particles, that's the size uh, uh, most greater than 10 micron meter that is a diameter of the size and we can collect that material by using sedimentation technique and the second category the particle size is smaller than smaller size um, is more sophisticated method uh, used to uh, settle it uh, like filtration enrichment electrostatic and electrostatic precipitator etc are used most instruments function is to collect the pollutants and analyze of weight is done separately let us see the uh, different types of collection of particulate matter or particulate pollutant the first method is sedimentation Another name is dust fall jar. It is the simplest device. We can see the figure in the right side of the slide. This method we are using for sampling the particles. The size is more than 10 micron meter. A collector consists of a plastic jar of about 20 to 35 centimeter height and 10 to 15 centimeter diameter at the base with a slight inward tapering of the wall for the ta uh, top to bottom then only it will settle it that sample is deposited over a period the time periods may be one month or more and the material is dried and weighed usually uh, we will get the value in mg per centimeter square or 10 per kilometer square the dust particle size is a larger than 10 micron size so it is rarely carried or, or carried for distance more than 1 kilometer so the dust fall jar should be placed closely uh, to that source then only we will get the meaningful data the main advantage of this sedimentation uh, method or this sedimentation um, uh, dust fall jar method it is a simple inexpensive and at the same time there is no electrical power or moving parts are there then disadvantage is the lack of precision and it's selective and usually non repeatable. Hence, this method shows pollution trend in specific region over a period of time. The next method of collection of particulate pollutants that is high volume filtration, that is high oil sampler. In university, it is known as high wall sampler, HI hyphen VOL high wall sampler. In this method, we are going to collect the uh, pollutant size is less than or smaller than 10 micrometer. This method is a uh, simplest theory behind this uh, uh, method. A non oleum of air is sucked by high speed blower through a fine filter. So during this time, this fine filter, the weight of fine filter is going to increase it. Increase in height due to the trapped particles. Uh, this method of sampling is, we are going to conduct, the time is 24 hours. During this time, 2000 meter cube of air is sucked through the filter. And the particulate level is generally expressed in terms of microgram per meter cube. 
mainly using filters are made up of fibrous material or a granular material. We are going to use the glass fiber filter to get accurate value. It is going to track the size 0 0.05 micrometer to 0.3 micrometer. And this method we are going to conduct uh, 24 hour, uh, one day. And during this time, 2000 meter cube of air sucks through the filter. And the particulate level we are going to express in microgram microgram per inch. Let's see a sample calculation. Air flow through a clean filter that is 1.7 meter cube per minute. The beginning of the uh, test, the clean filter air flow that is 1.7 meter cube per minute. Then up, uh, at the end of the test, the filter uh, air flow filter uh, air flow through the filter that is 1.4 meter cube per minute air flow is reduced that means this filter is filled with some dust then average air flow that is 1.5 meter cube per minute we have converted into uh, 24 hours that means 2232 meter cube in 24 hours that is the air flow uh, 1.55 into 60 minutes into 24 will get 2232 meter cube in 24 hours. The next step, weight of the clean filter. That is the beginning of the test, uh, the weight of the clean filter that is 5 gram. Then after uh, the test, uh, the weight of the filter that is 5.348 gram. So the total weight of the particulate test that is 0.348 gram or 0.348 into 10 raised to 6 microgram. So let us see the suspended particulate concentration 0.348 into 10 raised to 6 microgram divided by 2232 meter cube that is 156 microgram per meter cube. 